Hey guys, I hope that everybody's having a wonderful day. Welcome back to EU4. Leviathan is right around the corner. Let me know in the comments below what you guys plan to do for your first campaign. I have a couple of ideas, but uh, I'm curious as to what you guys are thinking. I'm gonna just embrace this because I don't care. I'll also embrace a couple more of these. I don't care. Uh, we just got to fight some rebels. We're going to have a lot of them. There's going to be a crazy amount of rebels. There's nothing I can do about it until we're done with the, this overextension. All I can do is just hopefully my, have my boys get handled. Looks like France is having some rebels over here as well. Let's get a new general over there as well. Not bad. Continue to core it all up. Some of it is inland, so we can't actually core it. Uh, but I will continue to convert everything for my vassal as well if I need to. Perks of having six um, six guys. We can do it. Six missionaries. It's overpowered. Minor inconvenience. It's a flesh wound. Name that movie reference. Head up there, handle those rebels. Continue to convert. A lot of this is stuff that he's not even coring, but it's okay. There we go. Can Here we go. Nice, we won't even be overextended here in a couple of months. I could have saved a little bit of overextension by giving the clay over here to other vassals. It's not a big deal. There we go. Austrian pretender rebels, huh? There we go, we are now no longer overextended. You'll love to see it happen, folks. There we go. I don't really care about the attrition. It's not a, it doesn't really bother me a whole lot. Is he done? A lot of this stuff is territorial cores already. So in order... Some of the stuff that I haven't been able to core yet, I will give it to him. Because he has Turkish as an accepted culture. So that is uh, that speeds up his coring process quite a bit. And I'll just give him all this. I don't even care if I lose a little bit of admin. It's not a big deal. There we go. Bulgaria, looking strong. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, Bulgarian boys in chat that are like, that's not too bad, huh? Let's uh, get you guys up to level five each. No reason not to. Let us continue building heavy ships as we should be. Uh-huh. One, two, three, four. It's looking good. We're definitely building up a navy. All the while preparing. All the while. So, number, or like, things are looking really, really good for us. Uh, Naples is a vassal as well. I did not. Hmm. I'm actually curious when I got Naples as a vassal. I actually don't remember. They are a march, even. Nice. All right. Can I attack Rhodes yet? No. Venice will join, huh? It's fine. Once I take uh, Imperialism, we'll be able to do whatever we want for the rest of the game, basically. And I'm going to definitely wait on this admin tech before I take much more to core for myself, because I'm going crazy from all that stuff. My rebels are having just as, or my vassals are having just as many rebels as I am. I'm going to push through to at least this sailor recovery speed, and then I will uh, worry about... Um, making progress on Miltech. A vassal's Miltech matters a lot more than mine does. These guys up here need to head on down. Continue to convert things. Never a lazy missionary if I can avoid it. Never ever. Going well though.
truce with a bunch of people is over. So let's take a look at where we really need to be growing. QQ, we need to grow. Is Albania? Albania is not a vassal, huh? Let's do that. That's fine. March these boys up to have them go siege down Novgorod. This white piece Russia or, you know, piece him out for all of his money again. Because right now I'm just kind of waiting. So I'm curious. Did I get the achievement for the Defender of the Faith as well? Or maybe I already have that. Let's take a look here. If I have this one. You guys can't see my Steam overlay, but... The one about having the tier 5 Defender of the Faith. Let me see here. God tier. Oh, apparently I got it back in September. Become a tier 5 Defender of the Faith for the nation that is not Catholic or Sunni. Hmm. I wonder when I got it. Because I was thinking about that. I'm like, well, I'm definitely going to become a uh, higher Defender of the Faith than I would already have been. Oh, well. No big deal. Also, I've gotten a lot of comments critiquing my... Uh, my army comp it's the reason why i have it set to what it is is because i just can't be bothered to change it because it's fine the way it is that's that's the main gist of it yes i could i could make it better i could be putting the appropriate amount of back line i could be making sure that i have the appropriate front line it's more i just don't mind anymore i can't be bothered as my buddy rory would say shout out rory I like him, even though he's British. Um, I suppose chance to capture enemy ship is fine. I'm not worried about maintenance, that's for sure. And I'm just going to peace out Russia. I don't want him in the war. Because all he's doing is just raising the relative war score by him being in. There you go. Peace out, Russia. Again. He's got a lot of... A lot of interest to be in a war that you are absolutely getting demolished in, my friend. Whatever. I love losing staff for no reason. Alright. Now I'm going to... We're going to take this tech before I do anything else. Gonna be very useful for uh, making sure everything gets um, cored up quicker. Admin efficiency will make it so everything takes 10% less war score, 10% less overextension, 10% less admin decor. All around, it's just very useful stuff. So we want to make sure we're doing that. Speaking of, who cares? I don't even need any. We have no rebels in the entire empire. We're good. All right. So I'll take all this. I'm just going to give it to Serbia. So I don't, I don't feel like whoring it. And then, so let's go with... I wish you could search. Normally, you don't need to. But in this situation, a, uh, a Serbian vassal would be very helpful. Or not Serbian vassal. A uh, Serbian... A search bar is what I'm trying to say. And I'm keeping this province here so I can holy war these guys. But I guess I can just give them this one as well because I have a border over here with him. That way I... Oh, I guess I won't even need it anyways because I'm going to be able to uh, Holy War him. Or Imperialism, rather. Continue to get our heavy ships up. And... Uh, now, let's take a look at where we have the most dev on these coastal provinces. So like this pro this state here, this state here, and this state here all can be cored up. Again, I'm going to wait till I do that. It'll save me mana. It's going to be more efficient that way. These guys would accept vassalization. The issue is, is that they'll be a regular vassal and not an HRE vassal. So not necessarily ideal. Policy do we have here? Religious unity, missionary strength, national unrest, and separatism, right? Those are all appropriate. I need all of those. All right. We have our 522 king with a 222 heir. So that's going to be a no from me. But uh, he's in prison. 
Plzen. So let's get you guys over here with our better fire general. And we'll disinherit the other guy as soon as we can. Can't do it when you have pending events. That's that's why it's a great out right now. Now those guys might not actually be able to get there before the event rebels pop, but uh, it's okay. Yearly Navy tradition is fine. There we go. Kill them all, destroy the child. And uh, disinherit you because you're garbage. There we go, not bad. Continue to convert. And uh, we're waiting on the tech. I'll take this tech right now so I can use it. Um, I will, now here's the problem. What's going on with you guys? What do we have? Right. Wait one month. Now the question is, is will my vassals uh, be able to like pull their men in? Let's see here. This, this could be my opportunity to uh, steal a couple of ships from these guys. Please and thank you. I'd like to steal a couple of heavy ships. That would be great, right? So let's uh, let's actually do that. <laughs> this is really cheeky, but I'm gonna try to steal his ships. And I may actually have upgraded, got an upgrade. I did. So we'll have to upgrade our ships before we go across there, anyways. That's fine. So let's take a look. They have a lot of galleys. We have a lot of galleys as well. Maybe I need to bring my heavies around. France has a few heavies that I'd like to steal. Hopefully once my boys occupy his province and kick these guys out, we'll be able to steal a couple of them. That's mostly light ships, but honestly at this point, more ships is good. We sunk the French flagship apparently, which is good. Oh, baby. Nice. We just stole a bunch of transports and some uh, some other ships, but that's fine. I mean, more is more. Let's um, let's actually build some buildings. This might seem a little strange, but I'm going to build shipyards in all of my provinces. Man, all right. Once I take this tech here next year, I'll be able. I'll core up the rest of my stuff, and it'll be fine. But uh, I'm just a little worried because, oh, yeah. These Venetian galleys are problematic. All right. Um, and I don't have my heavy combat ability yet. So I'm hesitant. All right. Let's head on in. Looks like they're on Venice, which is good. But they've sunk a bunch of my ships, which is not good. I certainly cannot afford this uh, this size of a fleet. There's no doubt about that. Continue to convert, of course. All right, Bohemia, or they're marching in now. Let's uh, save the sailors this month. Very good, cool. Uh, so in this war, I'm gonna take Crete as well. So hopefully they land some men on Crete. We'll see how it goes. Though Venice having 20,000 men over there is... It's not insignificant. All right, the yearly tick is here. Let's do that. And then let's core all, except for this province, this state here. How hard is it going to be for me to get constant, or to get um, Tunis? Where is it at here? Tunis, 19 months. All right. So I'm going to core everything that is Portuguese culture, Andalusian culture, and a Sardinian culture. And that should get me quite a few more sailors per month after the monthly tick. Uh, nope, it didn't change. There we go, 38. Cool. Uh, and so I will also decrease the autonomy in all these provinces when I'm not at war. And that will allow me to get even more. I will state this stuff up as well. There we go. This music is so good, man. 
Is this stuff stated? Or should I trade company this? All right. Obviously, we have to... So this stuff... None of this... All right, yeah. Let's trade company this. Let's see here. Do I have any of this partially stated? None of it. Let's trade company Egypt, which is going to give me an extra merchant. So we'll be able to steer from Egypt, which is probably where we should be steering from. And then we can actually do our... Um, investments here and the reason why you do these two this one increases trade power and production efficiency this one increases goods produced so just those are these are the two you need 800 per that's all you do easy peasy the only one that won't be converted is uh, mecca and i don't care about mecca so now take a look at this we're going to be we're collecting 82 right now yep that's an extra 100 100 or extra 20 ducats a month that we're getting from there that we weren't before, so. All around pretty good, and now the price of sugar goes up. Very cool. Super useful. Meanwhile, everything being converted. It's all coming together. Oh yes, our sailor numbers are explosive now compared to what they used to be. I bet that brought raised our uh, force limit quite a bit as well. Uh, yeah, quite a bit. Can get all that stuff here. And so another thing that I could probably do here is actually do this, which I will do. I need the sailors now more than I need the production dev. All right. So that will allow me to get a couple of things. It allows me to get a flagship, which I need. We're going to get the Kral Karel, I guess, <laughs> which uh, I think just is like King Carol. Uh, we're going to go with engagement with morale and... Um, Movement speed is fine. And then a couple more heavies built up around here. There we go. That'll put us up over the th uh, 36. Really good numbers. So... We'll probably be able to full annex them just based on war exhaustion. We'll see how it goes. France will peace out. Um, I could... Man, if I annex him, I can convert his land, but I didn't co-belligerent him, so it's probably not smart, right? Let's just take all of his money instead. That will allow us to annex Venice, probably. Ooh, not quite, actually. We're still feeling pretty good about it. Ongoing battles, huh? He still has a giant navy. So those are all the things you got to keep in mind when you're doing this. Because I can't take Creed unless I separate piece him. That's the big issue. So I think as his war exhaustion goes up, we just wait. Sadly, all my boys are like suiciding their ships. That's definitely not ideal, but um, it is what it is. Bohemian France, my favorite. Here we go. Keep our heavies coming. We also need to keep in mind, he still has the wooden wall. So, I mean, even if we do get a giant navy, we had to build a big navy and catch him out. Not off of his, uh, his, his provinces. So here we go. Now we're doing good. We're definitely going to take this. To be honest with you, um... We're on the same miltech, even though I'm going to do this. So I'm going to push through this. 10% ship durability plus 20% heavy ship combat ability is going to be extremely helpful for us. Um, I'm going to switch over to a mill focus for now. All is well. Oh my gosh, these conversions are so good. I love the religious map mode. Just wait until we fill in all the cracks after we annex them. This is good. Yeah, they're going to keep going back and forth, aren't they? So I'm curious. I'm going to upgrade these ships, give them a couple of months, and then I will see. I'll see what I can do. I uh, I have a feeling it won't go well if I attack him, but um, it's fine. We'll see what we can do here. Our trader is dad. Well, morale of navies, I suppose. Fine with me. 
All right, yep, they just suicided a giant part of their navy. Our boys did, I mean. Okay, these guys are all grouped up. Let's get them over here to Akaruna. Here we go. Let's get them over here to Tunis. Let's also unstate this province because we don't need it now. Now I need to convert one more. Ah, it looks like I missed one over here as well in Benghazi. So let's add this guys also to the trade company and then untrained company those ones. That way we can still convert them. And that should give me another merchant. Good. Uh, and then I will do the clicks here as well because why not? This is the best way to invest your money in when you're uh, going for trade companies. I think that was all of them, correct? That's that whole trade node. It is. Uh, and then another one you can do is you can use this map as well. A lot of people do that. That way you can just, see, you just at a glance say, okay, yep, build them all here. Uh, and then another one is you can do your trade steering. Since we're steering through here, I will do this one. Uh, and then this one, Marines force limit, overpowered. Naval force limit, land force limit. Eh, I guess we'll go with the steering. I'm not steering anything through there, but... Uh, what do we want to do with this mish this guy here? Let's steer from Ragusa. So let's take a look here. So that's gonna take me from collecting 97 here. Should go up by like 15 or 16. Oh, I'm over 20. Very good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Look at that. We can actually see the bottom of it. We've converted almost everything. All right, and so I'm just kind of waiting on Venice to be willing to accept this peace. He keeps buying down his war exhaustion, which is annoying. All right, these guys are recovered. So let's go over here to the Ionian Sea and just see how it goes. This is his galley fleet. We're losing some ships here. Yeah, we're actually getting just destroyed, man. Are you actually kidding me? Uh, that is so annoying. Yeah, I guess that's what I get. Venice just has Venice has twenty percent galley combat ability built into their ideas, so it's fine. It's that's really annoying, but um, it's fine. It's whatever. So we're just gonna speed five it and wait for his war exhaustion to go up high enough that he's gonna be willing to peace out, and uh, you know his capital can burn in the meantime. No big deal. So next one up. Let's uh, imperialism these boys here. Let my vassals handle that. I can't be asked to do anything else over there. Some Corfu and Separatists, huh? I will actually boost my stab and then boost with these guys. It's always a nice little exploit there to uh, maximize how much you gain. Yep, there, we're waiting. If you want to keep buying down your war exhaustion, you can, but uh, it is to your detriment, indeed. I'm still getting raided over here by Moroccan uh, pirates, which is hilarious. There we go. We got finished our ages, our age things. Keep it going, Venice. Come on now. Two to three more months, and they should be willing to peace out. Two more months, I assume, unless then they randomly jump up like, hey, there we go, nice. That is a full annex of Venice. They have some rebels over there, to be expected. Um, now, do I have transports? I only have two transports, so we're gonna need a few of them. So let's get some of them built up over here. I suppose two is enough to at least try it. Let's come over here and try it. Now, it would be ideal if they would, like, teleport away. Because I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to do this. Beat them. They do have a two-star general there. But they're rebels, so it's hard to say. Yeah, my guys are going to get wiped out. That's okay. I'll just bring two more. Because now they're weaker. They're going to reinforce a little bit, but it should be... I should be able to beat them here now. Hopefully they get there before the end of the monthly tick. Oh, they got it. 
Feels bad, man. All right, let's get two more. You guys like this? This is just me being lazy is what this is. And can I give them a, a general? I cannot. Well, I will not send them in without a general. That would be suicide. Let's actually see if I can get a better general. Nope, but uh, it's fine. We got our heavy ship combat ability. Very good. Let's annex you guys because you suck and I hate you. I will core that up as well. Very good. Those guys are going to get a reinforcement tick. One to one, I imagine. No, they're still feeling good. We're going to keep on doing it until, uh, until we win. Can you... Oh, wow. They are being really dumb. It will not... I am 100% clicking this button. There you go. Thank you. You guys like that? And I bet that's Savoy because Savoy is annoying. Oh, I'll pay off your debt, broke boy. All right. That sh this should be the win. <laughs> Meanwhile, QQ is full occupied in this war. No big deal to me. Continue to convert all of my stuff before I add it to trade companies. Come on, baby. There we go. Easy peasy. All we had to do was single file a bunch of our men in. No big deal. All right. Let's get our heavies back over here. Let's go. And uh, let's replace those men that died over here. May they rest in peace. Crimea. Uh, I suppose I can annex Crimea because I can just give this clay over here to like Lithuania. Fine with me. I'm not going to core it. Uh, John Poor, I don't care about. But uh, all I want is everything that I know I'm going to need for the Roman Empire. Obviously, so we're not going to form the Roman Empire. But what I want to do is I want the borders of the Roman Empire. That's that's why we're doing what we're doing here. Let's just actually click that so those buttons, so those guys will be lit up correctly. Don't need you, but I do need all of this down here. Beautiful. And that's what I'm going to take in this war. And I'll give some of it to uh, Bulgaria, which should be fine. There we go. Letting our sailors tick back up. Currently gaining less than I was before for reasons. Wasn't I gaining 90 some before? So these guys are full occupied, but for some reason I cannot piece him out. Oh, there we go. Now I can. Cool. So let's piece him out. I'm going to take all that, but I'm actually going to give some of it to my vassals here. So let's give Lithuania some over here in Crimea. I don't want it. Uh, Lithuania. Grant that province here, 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 here. He can core it. I don't care. He'll end up having rebels. Also don't care. And then Bulgaria... I'll just give him some enough provinces that I won't be uh, ridiculously overextended. Do something like this, a little bit of border gore. Cool. Can't. Hey, and I'm not overextended. It's a good day. Pour it all up pretty cheap as well. Yeah, look at that. How about it? So I think that actually means I'm very close to having everything I need for the Roman Empire. Uh, just London, all of Iberia, France, we have, we will have, and then all of this here. So yeah, looks like the next goal will be to uh, pa cross, the, cross the, the channel into England. So we're going to get that one started in the next one. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure that you show your support, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know how you are excited about Leviathan because I know I am. What do you guys plan on playing first? And uh, I'll talk to you soon about that. Uh, also, if you want to support us and you have it within your means, we have a Patreon linked in the description. Patreon support is enormous. It's what allows me to do what I do. And uh, if you have it within your means, I appreciate that a lot. Also, we have a Discord, my Twitter, all that fun stuff. And uh, that's all I got for you. So this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.
Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I would like to give a big special thanks to my top supporters for the month of April. Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Bloodbound, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Sprocket, Ian, M. Dressel, Tharp, Blonde Damon, Gabriel Court, Corbett, Chankopotamus, T. Jarden, Barking Glad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Amorado, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, RJ Pilot, and Stolier. I appreciate you guys very much.